Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a problem from lead code as well. So the problem name is Roman to integer conversion. So you have to write a function in which you have to convert a Roman numeral that is given to you and you have to convert that Roman numeral into a given like corresponding integer. Now, uh, some of might you might be familiar with what is Roman numerals, how you can convert that. So like you can try to pause this video and try to think over that solution first. But I'll tell you in simple terms how you can like what are Roman numerals and like how you can convert them. So Roman numerals are just the den denotion of any number you have with these letters that you can see like I, V, X, uh, and so on. So I is denoted to 1, V is denoted to 5, X is denoted to 10, L is denoted to 50 and so on. Now if you want to denote let's say two in Roman numerals, you just write down two ones, so one and one. Now three is also written like one and one and one, but four. Now you cannot just write down four as four i's, okay? Because you have to write down that particular number in the smallest alphabets that you have in possible. Now, instead of writing down four as four i's, you could have also written down as one v. Now, if you write down any number, before a large, like uh, if you write down a smaller number before a larger number. So what you can see is that I is smaller in the value and it is written before V, which is larger. So which actually means that you are subtracting out one, like that particular value from the right hand side value. So what I mean by this is, let's say that you have, so if I can be placed before V, it means four. If I is placed before X, it means one minus X and X is 10. So one minus 10 is equal to nine. Similarly, if you write down X before L, so X before L. So as you can see that X before L, so 50 and like before L, uh, so X is before, so X like 50 minus 10 is 40. So it's 40. So, and so on, like you can just check it out. So you just have to write down in the smallest possible way. And that's what numer no, like Roman numeral is. So what you can have to like first do is you have to first always have to create the mapping. So you have to also create the mapping. So I is mapped to one, V is mapped to five and so on, because you have to store the mapping and like create it according to that. Now you have to ensure that when you're talking about any particular number, let's say, uh, uh, one, 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 let's say. So if you read it from left to right or right to left, it doesn't matter because the value remains same. But what you can do is that if you have, let's say IV, and if you have, let's say a number that is, that you are on number, let's say V. And after that, if you're moving from right to left, so I'll tell you in code part, let's say if I have number IV, if you're moving from right to left, okay. And if you find out a V and then when you go to the next right, uh, like next left, uh, digit and you find out I, and you see before it, it has V. So it, you already understand that this is a minus sign because if you place a smaller number before a larger value, which means that you are subtracting it out. So I, I, V, it means that five minus two, that is equal to like three, but like you have written three like this also. So both of them are valid, but this is more preferable than this, but uh, like this is a convention, but still. So uh, what you can, what you can understand here is that if you have like this, so, what you got, like what you have to do is that you can iterate from right to left. Okay. And if you have any digit, let's say like V. Okay. And then you go from V to let's say I. So for every digit, you have to just check that whether the digit before, like, so let's say that you have to always take the first digit, whatever is the first digit, just store the value for it. So let's say that the first digit is V. So you store a total value, whatever the, the total integer value for this Roman numeral is, you just make it V equal to five. Okay. Then you move from this integer to this. So you start from the second last value, whatever you have. So I'll tell you with example and it will be much more clear to you. So let's say L V I I I. So L V I I I. But it doesn't. So L V I I I. So L is 50. So I think so that there is a uh, example. But let's say that if you take out. Um, so what let's say I'll take out a, another number. So if number is, uh, this is 50. So 50, which is equal to L, so this is L and you put an X before it. Then you put, let's say a V before it. So let's say it's V X L. So what you have done is that you just take the first number it is as it is and L is equal to 50. So you know that the total up till now, if you have moved from right to left is 50. Now you are on X. Now for X, you have two options either you will add the value of x or you have to subtract the value of x and it depends only on the right of it. 
So if the value of L like X is smaller than the value of L, then you like you obviously have to subtract it. And if it is larger or like if it is equal also, then you have to add it because like if it is I, 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 and you have taken the first one that is one. Now for this one, you can compare it with the right of it. And it is also like same I, I of the same level. So obviously you have to add it. So one and one, it becomes two and then one, 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 so it becomes three. Okay. But if it is like I and V, then if you compare I with V, then you understand that it is a smaller value. So you have to just subtract from the larger value and so on. So there are always two options. And you just have to, like you just have to move from like right to left, and that's the overall logic from here. So I'll tell you the code part; it will become more clear to you. So we have made a map. And this is the sizes of the like the string we have, and the uh, so you have taken the total number that will be forming out out of that Roman numeral you have is map. You have to take out so like to find out the map value of the corresponding character you have to the actual value. You just use the map. So you have to take out the last character of the string you have and find it in the map and whatever the value is, you'll just take show in total. Now you like do a for loop from the second last character from the second last character. If the value, like the particular value of the character I am on is smaller than the character after it, like on the right hand side, then you have to subtract it from the total, the particular value. And if it is larger or equal, then you have to just add it. So if it is smaller, as you can see, like smaller, then you have to subtract it. If it is larger or equal, then you have to just add it. And then you, you, you would like, you have the total value. And that's the overall logic for how to convert the Roman numeral into an integer. So it's very simple. You just have to understand the logic behind it. And then you just have to add on one for loop. So it's a very small, like very small run. Like the runtime is also very small because the Roman numeral length cannot be too large, but uh, it's just a very small for loop. And the overall time complexity is O of length of whatever Roman numeral you have. So that's the overall logic and code part for this video. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I'll see you next one. Keep coding and bye.